everyone, I'm Valencia, your Math 115 SI leader, and today we're going to talk about the empirical rule. Like I said, we're going to be talking about the empirical rule. The empirical rule is associated with this bell curve. Always remember that the area underneath the bell curve is either 1 or 100%. As you can tell, this bell curve is broken up into three different percentages. You're going to have a set of data values. And of those data values, 68% of them should be between one standard deviation of the mean. And the mean, remember, in standard normal distribution is always zero, and the standard deviation is one. 95% of those data values should be between two standard deviations of the mean. And finally, 99.7% should be of three standard deviations of the mean. Anything beyond these three standard deviations, or 0.3%, are considered outliers. So let's work a problem. The problem states, credit scores are normally distributed with a mean of 600 and a standard deviation of 50. Using the empirical rule, what is the probability that a credit score is between 500 and 650? The first thing we want to do is convert our x values to z-scores. Remember, the z-score equation is x minus mu divided by the standard deviation. just read the problem and it said our x values are equal to 500 and 650. So we want to convert those to z-scores to standardize them. z equals 500 minus 600 divided by 50. And we got our values from the equation as well. You should get negative 2 for this answer. The second one Z equals 650 minus 600 divided by 50. And you should get 1 for that answer. So these are your z-scores. They've been standardized so that we can graph them. Remember, when we're doing our z-scores, we want to graph them in the standard normal distribution, which means the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So we're going to graph that real quick. Mean is 0. Standard deviation is 1. So you see our first one is negative 2. So we're going to go 2 standard deviations to the left, graph that, and 1 standard deviation to the right, since it's positive. Our problem stated that we wanted to find the credit, that area in between the two standard deviations, because we want to find the probability between 500 and 650. So that's what your graph looks like. Now you want to redraw the graph for the empirical formula. Remember that the middle is 68%. The next two is 95% and the third is 99.7%. So we want to divide this up so we can actually find the probability. Remember that the middle is 68%. We want to divide up this 95 so that we know the area in both of those tails. So you want to take 95 minus 68. You should get 27. You want to divide that by 2, and you should get 13.5. So that's how much are in each of those tails. So then write that in. Then you're going to take 99.7, subtract 95, and you should get 4.7. You're also going to divide that by 2 to put that in each tail, and you should get 2.35. So you're going to write that in. So those are the percentages divided up into the entire graph between standard deviations. So our graph here shows that we are two standard deviations to the left and one standard deviation to the right. Remember that the mean is zero. That's where we're starting from here. So we want to go one standard deviation to the left, so we want this area, and then two standard deviations to the right, so we want this and this. So we're going to add this entire 68% plus a 13.5 percent. So 68 plus 
plus 13.5, you should get 81.5%. And that is how you work in a pure problem. Thanks for watching our video.